is time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2016 SJ Pour Challenge is dedicated to your friend and ours, Paul Wickstein. Brought to you by Brewcraft USA. I make Gladfield Malting, Yakima Valley Hops, The Grain Bill, Brewers Exchange, Cake Kingdom Homebrew Supply, Hiraki Homebrew, and a special thanks to our silver sponsors. Okay, we're back. Last beer review of the 2016 SJ Poor Homebrew Challenge. This is somewhat bittersweet. But we're going to do it nonetheless because it's been really, really fun drying all these beers. Without further ado, here's the last one of the night. Actually, last one of the competition. This is from 23 Edward, or 23E, 35D, 59M, the Hamilton Pale Ale. A crisp pale ale uh, brewed with Centennial, Citra, and Emerald hops, dry hop with Cascade, and added lemon and orange peels to give a little citrus tinge on the nose. Okay, green glass. Let's get the crack a lack and shall we? Cheers everybody. A little bit of a hiss there. A little bit of smoke. Here we go. Let's see how she pours. Stop her right about there. So a fairly good carbonation already. I mean, like I said earlier, my fridge is a little cool, but carbonation is adequate. Actually, quite lively for the beer, believe it or not. Let's get an aroma and see how we do. Oh, definitely lemony. Can't pick up much on the hops, so may have to let this warm up a little bit to true get some true notes. Cheers, everybody. Let's dive on in. Get some malt coming forward, but I also pick up uh, an aftertaste. Uh, slightly medicinal. Um, and it's really hard to truly pin down what the, what the, um, the aftertaste is. Lemon is definitely there. I totally pick up on the lemon. Um, and it coats a little bit um, on my mouth. I was hoping this would finish a little bit cleaner. Um, it doesn't, but that's okay. Um, overall, it's a it's a solid be solid beverage. Um, I'm just going to try and let this warm up a little bit in the old hands. But you definitely get a lot of lemon. Um, that tends to slightly overpower the beer. I think if this beer was warmer, it would be, a, it would taste a little bit different. The lemon may be a little bit more muted, possibly. Um, but I'm unsure. It's hard with citrus though, because a little goes such a long way. Pick up a lot of lemon. Um, I don't get an awful lot of hop aroma off of it, unfortunately, um, but it's it's good. Don't get me wrong. There's a pr there's a significant balance between the malt and what hops are in there. You can perceive them slightly. Um, the problem is is that the lemon that I understand he dry hopped with uh, added well lemon and orange peels. Whether he dry hopped or whether he put them in at the very last minute of the boil, the um, the citric acid that's in the, not the citric acid but the essential oils in the in the peels can tend to really overpower so maybe next time add just a little bit less um, and bump up your hops a little bit um, especially like hops if you're looking for more like a citrus a citral citral a citrus interaction to complement that or vice versa for the orange peel and lemon peel to complement the hops you're using um, I would drop a little bit of the hop or the little bit of the peel additions down 
and add more hops to bump it up because you want them to, to marry together and to and to work well with each other and you don't want one to overpower the other. It's not band-aidy, it's slight, slightly metallic, slightly metallic, um, which lends me to believe that there may be a bit of a water issue, possibly, but um, overall, not bad at all, not bad at all. But the lemon is a little bit in the orange, I, I get more lemon than anything, um, and I don't know if you used, like I said uh, in a previous review, the the um, there's a, a slight dankness and underlying heaviness with the orange peel. Um, it should be a little bit lighter, a little bit fruitier, a little bit more citrusy. And that's why I think maybe you either you use a little bit too much, or if you're using homemade stuff, you add a little there a little bit of the pith went in, and that's really critical when using, uh, if you, especially if you're making your own peels, um, if you're drawing, going to dry them out to get as, as a little pith as possible, pith being the white part between the bottom of the skin and the actual fruit that you're taking it off of. Um, because the orange and the, the lemon flavors, all the essential oils in there are right in the very surface of the skin. So it's hard um, to determine how much orange was put in versus how much lemon. I get more lemon than, than anything. But the two are so closely tied together that it's hard to pick up exactly overall what I get more of. It's because now I get a little bit more orange. But um, finally, it is um, a very well-rounded beer in terms of in terms of malt, uh, the malt bill. It's like your classic pale ale color, maybe a little bit lighter, but I mean. It is what it is. It's all about brewing a beer, not necessarily the style, but brewing a beer that is in low ABV. And this one was uh, 4.2 ABV with a London Ale yeast. Perhaps the next uh, different yeast would have helped. Uh, something finished a little bit drier, a little bit cleaner, a little bit crisper. Uh, maybe California Ale yeast, a WLP001, or something as simple as like a US05 maybe. Um, that's going to finish a little bit more because there's some residual sugars in here that are assisting the overall body of the beer, which I really, really like. Um, and that 4.2, these residual sugars are going to be present. The benefit of using a, a WLP001 or even using a US05 is that you can knock down um, your, your grain bill a little bit because they tend to finish a little bit drier. But overall, not a bad beer at all. I mean, it's got some good lacing. Um, looks great in the glass. Mouthfeel overall isn't too, too bad, like I said before. But there's just a certain off flavor that I can't quite pinpoint. Maybe it's the residual um, citrus notes in my mouth that are sort of adding to that. Either way. Gonna make some notes. Gonna score this beer and call this challenge done. So this is 23E, 35D, 59M, the Hamilton Pale Ale. Good job on you, mate. Cheers. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys next year. All the best.